Holly, hello, I'm Refashionista Sherry, and this is almost the end of my 30 days of refashions. Can you believe it? I certainly cannot because I have been working my little bottom up, getting all of these tutorials out every single day. But I have so much cool new stuff, and I really, really hope you guys do too now. And speaking of that, please feel free to go ahead and, you know, send me an email with pictures of the stuff you make. I would love that. Join my Gone Thrifting group. You can share over there. You can share it on my page on Facebook. I mean, tag me in a TikTok. All the information is, you know, down below. So you can find me pretty much everywhere on the internet and say, hey, look, I made this because you gave me a tutorial. I want to see it. I want to see it. Anyway, because we're nearing the end and um, the weather is finally cooling off, and big gulp my uh last kind of granny square tutorial <laughs> absolutely did not go as planned as you know i thought i'm gonna take this granny square blanket <laughs> and see what i can transform it into and i'm really gonna try to make this one a totally no so project so if you spy a lovely granny square blanket at the thrift shop you can make one of these yourself with like nothing but a pair of scissors so let's go make it for this insanely fast project all you need is your funky granny square blanket and a pair of scissors Alrighty, so you want to find a blanket that when it's folded in half like this one is folded in half lengthwise you can kind of, you know, see yourself wearing it as a, a poncho or a sweater. So the length is just about perfect on this one. And then to find the middle-ish square, all I'm going to do is fold it in half again, like so. So now it is double folded. And you know what's great about granny squares? You could actually not even fold this at all and just kind of count the squares <laughs> to find the middle square. But I folded it already, so let's just do it this way. Okay, so you see where my finger is right here? Ta-da! This square right here is going to be the middle square, so I'm just going to pinch it with my finger till I get back over to my table. <laughs> okay, so here is my center square, and you can see here very easily, because it's different colors, that here is the yarn from the center square that is attaching it to the square on this side, and here on this side, and here, and here. So you just want to chop that connecting yarn of the center square. You do not want to chop any of the other squares because again, this is a no-sew project, so you're only cutting the yarn that is attached and holding that center square. So let's see if we can get closer here so you can kind of see it better. Now, for anyone who doesn't crochet, like I do not crochet anything beyond a chain stitch so far, but I'm trying to learn, uh, this is kind of a really easy way to make yourself some awesome crochet granny square gear. And I just love it so much. And I really love the fact that, you know, you can go in a thrift store, find something like this that was clearly made with a lot of love and took a lot of time, and you can give it a new life and give it a new purpose for something that you will actually love and even wear. Okay, so let's make our first cuts here. Cut that, and it should... It should come out nicely, nicely. Got to cut it again. And I'm just gonna go all the way around the outside and cut all of these. And then I will go back later and remove the excess bits of yarn. Okay, so now our center bit is removed, and I mean, you can even use this now. You can use it as a little trivet or heating pad or a coaster, whatever you want. Just, you know, clean up those edges, remove this, and you have your nice little finished edge and a little mini granny square. <laughs> okay, so to remove this part, you just want to kind of carefully, let's do this one here, carefully chop through and pull that out and that yarn should come right out of those loops and you see here now we are left with this nice finished edge here. So now I'm just going to go 
remove the rest of these loops, and then we can uh, put it on. And there is our finished head hole, and it definitely is going to stretch wide enough to get on and off of my head. <laughs> this again. I mean, come on, how adorable did this come out? It is super duper cozy and definitely better like this than it was before. And the best part is I can still use it as a blanket. I just, you know, can pop it on while I'm lounging on the sofa watching a series <laughs> and be cozy and warm. But yeah, I can also, you know, throw it over leggings and a sweater like I have, but pop on my, my lovely hat that I've had for years. This is my, this is my cold weather hat that I wear all the time in cold weather. <laughs> is my favorite. <laughs> Editing Sherry here. Now I realize that not all of my refashions are going to be everybody's cup of tea. And unfortunately, there are loads of people online who are not shy about sharing their opinions when I make something with an unconventional material like a granny square blanket. But even worse, people tend to be critical when they see me in person as well. So if you decide to make one of these and, you know, you might have a gossipy Gertie walking past you and say something like, Hey, my God, is she wearing a blanket? Then you just, you know, catch their eye and say, Yes, yes, I am. And walk away like the proud refashionista you are. <laughs> and, um, yeah, this will be great for throwing over as well when I just have to take Jack out in the middle of the night for a quick potty <laughs> and I don't want to, you know, get all dressed. I'm just going to throw this on and take him out in the back. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> if you would love to see more of these kind of tutorials, please do let me know down below. And um, yeah, I just, it's, this is so cozy and seriously, the weather has just changed like that quickly. A couple of days ago, we were sweltering in the heat, and now it is freezing winds and probably, probably going to be some freezing rain and snow before too long. So this is definitely a great make for the coming chilly weather. And also, if I wanted to, I just thought when I did this, <laughs> I just thought, do you remember my um, scarf top that I made? A few tutorials ago, I shall link it down below. Um, and all I have to do if I want to make this into a top is do, you know, two kind of seams here if I don't want it to be open on the sides. And you can easily just on the outside stitch a line with some yarn. Really, really simple. Just a quick running stitch. Just mark where you want the stitch to end and stitch straight down from there. Easy peasy. Um, yeah. But other than that, this is a great no-sew project, another great no-sew project for chilly weather and being cozy. And um, we are almost done. The 30 days of refashions, I really can't believe it, but we're not quite done yet. There are a few more to come, so stick around. And until tomorrow, <laughs> stay safe, stay well, and I'll catch ya on the zig zag. <laughs> This is Confessions of a Refashionista.